Today it's time for my 50 hour track review on my coyote, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Paul from CountryCraziness.com. This channel is all about post frame construction, tractors, and homesteading. If you're interested in those kind of things, consider subscribing and joining in on the conversation. So here's a quick walk around the, uh, the DK. Here's the box blade. When we got this, we got the next size heavier because we knew we were going to be punishing the thing and true to form, we really beat the crap out of this thing since we got it. One of the features I really like is this, uh, this lever for raising and lowering things. I didn't know if that was just going to be fluff or we really use it, but we found that uh, we've used it a lot. If I was going to change something, I would consider getting a tractor that has a different arrangement than this turnbuckle style that so many of the tractors have. Um, some of the deluxe tractors out there have a wheel or other things that you can turn. I have to get my... Uh, my uh, channel locks out and put them in this thing just to turn it when it gets real tight. I don't have the kind of Popeye arms that uh, some people have. The other thing that's a little weird is the toolbox. You have to get your hand down in there against that sign to try to pry it open. And uh, that's kind of a pain. Those are the two things that uh, I would really change in my decision. I love these tires. We had them filled. And as you can see, we put this baby to work. It is filthy dirty, and we do not have any water on the property. So other than sitting out in the rain, this thing is playing in the mud and loving every minute of it. The loader's been real good. I love the fact that it has such a good lifting capacity. And the big bucket really has helped us pick up a lot of dirt. And you can see some of that on our other video, but it's a big bucket. And uh, I like that a lot. We had a couple of hooks uh, welded on, and that's already paid dividends when we were out in the woods. We've used those a couple of times. So, okay, I'm going to show you my biggest feature that I like. I'm 68 years old, and I would never get a tractor that doesn't have this fueling down where I can stand. In fact, this is down low enough that I can pick up the can and get the nozzle in there and uh, get her going real good. Seats are fully adjustable. Um, very comfortable tractor to ride in. It doesn't have armrests. I don't miss it at all. Never even think about it. My arm just rests on the fender and uh, does quite well up there. Very ergonomic. Oh, well, there's one more thing, and I'm not going to pop the hood to show it to you, but um, I did get the 50 horsepower uh, engine in it. It's the same basic uh, engine as the 40 horsepower. This particular one has turbo to get that extra 10 horsepower. And frankly, if you can afford the horsepower, get it. You can't have too much tractor. Um, I can't stress that high enough. Buy as big as you can afford within reason and buy as good a horsepower as you can. And that's also gonna affect the implements that you can uh, use. Sometimes it's the difference between using a one or inch and a half brush, brush hog or maybe being able to use a two or two and a half inch brush hog. I'm gonna do another video somewhere along the line to talk about compact utility tractors and why they might be a good choice over a regular compact.